Hello, and welcome to LSET Tech Byte. Today, we have an exciting project lined up for you. We're going to learn how to create a simple guess a word game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Let's dive right into the code. Starting off with the HTML structure, we have a basic setup here. We've defined the document type as HTML, specified the language as English, and set the text direction as left to right. Inside the head section, we've set the character encoding to UTF-8 for proper text rendering. The title of our game is Guess a Word. We've also added a meta viewport tag to ensure proper scaling on different devices. In the body section, we have a wrapper div that contains the main content of our game. The H1 element displays the title of our game, which is Guess the Word. Inside the content div, we have an input field where the user can type their guesses. It's restricted to one character with the max length attribute set to one. Below the input field, we have another div called inputs, which will display the guessed letters of the word. Next, we have the details div, which provides additional information to the player. We have a hint paragraph that will display a hint for the word to be guessed. Below that, we have a paragraph showing the number of remaining guesses. Lastly, we have a paragraph displaying the wrong letters guessed by the player. And finally, we have a reset button that allows the player to start a new game. To make our game functional, we've linked two JavaScript files script.js and words.js. These files contain the logic for generating random words and handling user input. And we've linked an external style sheet called style.css to enhance the visual presentation. Now that we've covered the HTML structure of our guess a word game, Let's move on to the CSS part to design our game interface. Starting with the CSS reset, we're ensuring that all elements have no margin, no padding, and adhere to the border box model. We're also setting the default font family to Arial, Helvetica, Sans Serif for consistency across different platforms. For the body of our game, we've chosen a calming blue background color to enhance the user experience. Now, let's focus on the wrapper class. This is the container for our game interface. We've set its width to 430 pixels, given it a light yellow background color, added a subtle border radius for rounded corners, and applied a box shadow to create a sense of depth. Inside the wrapper, we have the title of our game. We've styled it with a larger font size, bold weight, and centered it with padding and a bottom border. The content class contains the main elements of our game interface. Within the content, we have the Inputs class, which handles the display of the letters to be guessed. We've used Flexbox to align the letters neatly in rows and columns. Each letter input has specific styling. They're sized appropriately, have a distinct font size and weight, and are centered both vertically and horizontally. We've also disabled pointer events to prevent user interaction with these inputs. We've hidden the typing input field using absolute positioning and negative z-index to ensure it doesn't interfere with the game interface. Moving on to the details class, here we display additional information to the player such as remaining guesses and wrong letters guessed. Finally, we have the reset button styled with contrasting colors and a hover effect to make it visually appealing and intuitive for the player. Now let's dive into the JavaScript part to give our guess a word game its functionality. In this section, we'll walk through each line of code to understand how our game works. First, we're declaring variables to store references to various elements of our HTML document, such as inputs, hint tag, guess left, wrong letter, reset button, and typing input. These elements will be crucial for updating the game interface dynamically. Next, we have the random word function. This function randomly selects a word from a predefined word list, sets the maximum number of guesses based on the word length, displays a hint, and initializes the game interface. Within the random word function, we're dynamically generating input fields based on the length of the chosen word. Each input field represents a letter of the word Moving on to the init game function, this function handles the game logic when the user inputs a letter. 
we're extracting the value of the pressed key and converting it to lowercase for consistency. Inside the if conditions, we're checking if the input is a valid letter, if it's not already guessed incorrectly or correctly, and then we're updating the game state accordingly. After each user input, we're using set timeout to check if the game is won or lost. If all letters are guessed correctly, the player wins. If the maximum number of guesses is reached, the player loses. Lastly, we have event listeners attached to the reset button, typing input field, and document to handle game reset, user input, and keyboard focus, respectively. And that concludes the JavaScript functionality of our Guess a Word game now. We've laid the groundwork for an interactive gaming experience. If you're finding this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more web development video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.